Okay, team fourth grade. This is Miss Sissel, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make the fraction number line. You're going to start by drawing a line. And you are going to label that line with a zero at one end and a one at the other end. Next, you're going to cut that line in half and try to do it as equally as you possibly can. There are two pieces. Okay, there's this piece over here. There's this piece over here. So because there's two pieces, we are going to put a two in the denominator. And since, <coughs> and since this is the first of those two pieces, we're going to label this as one half. You can also label this one as half, and this is two halves, which is equivalent to one whole. Next step, we are going to break our fraction number line into fourths. And the way that we're going to do that is by splitting each of these halves in half. When we split each one of the halves in half, we create four pieces. There's one piece, two piece, three piece, four pieces, all right? So we're gonna label each piece with the denominator of four. This is the first fourth, the second fourth, the third fourth, and the fourth fourth. Next step, we are going to split this fraction number line into eighths. So I'm going to split each one of the fourths in half. Split that one, that one, that one, and that one. And it is really important that you do it one step at a time. Do the halves first, then the fourths, then the eighths. Because if you try to do all these lines at once, they'll be uneven and a mess. So don't do it that way. So now I have eight pieces. There's one piece, two piece, three pieces, four, five, six, seven, eight. And because I have eight pieces, I'm going to label my denominators with an eight. So that one has an eight. That one has an eight. That one is an eight. That one is an eight. 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 Eight, 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 and be careful not to miss any. So make sure when you look up and down here, you should see an eighth for each one because it's broken into eight pieces. So make sure you don't miss any. And then I'm going to label them my numerator like I did before. This is a first eighth, second eighth, third eighth, fourth eighth. 5th, 8th, 6th, 8th, 7th, 8th, 8th, 8th. Now here's a really cool thing about doing the fraction number line. It's very, very easy to see our equivalent fractions. So if we look right here, we know that 1 half and 2 fourths, 1 half, 2 fourths, and 4 eighths are all equivalent fractions. If we look here, we see that 1 fourth and 2 eighths are equivalent fractions. And if we look here, we see that 3 fourths and 6 eighths are equivalent fractions. We also say that 1 is the same thing as 2 halves, is the same thing as 4 fourths, is the same thing as 8 eighths. Whenever the numerator and the denominator are the same number, that equals one whole. We can also make a fraction number line for thirds, so in sixes. So let me show you that. So I'm going to take this number line, I'm going to shrink it. Apparently that half didn't want to move. So try capturing it. It doesn't want to go anywhere, so I'm going to erase it. And it doesn't want to erase, it doesn't want to do anything. So let me pause this and fix it and then I'll come back. 
Okay, so now I fixed that problem. I'm going to show you how to make a fraction number line with thirds. So the way that we make the fraction number line with thirds is very similar to the one we make with the halves and the fourths and the eighths. We're going to start out with our line. Zero on one end, one on the other end. We're going to start out by splitting our number line into thirds, and it's a little bit hard to do. You need to split it up into three equal pieces, which means you have to draw two lines. Try to make them as even as you can. So about the same length here, same length here, same length here. That takes some practice, but with practice you'll get really good at it. So just like before, we split our number line into three pieces. So our denominator is going to be three. Put my denominator as three. So this is the first third. So I'm going to write one third, and this is the second third, so I'm going to write two thirds. Then I am going to go ahead and do my sixth. And the way I do my sixth is by splitting my thirds in half. So I split this third in half, this third in half, and this third in half. Same as before, I'm going to count my number of pieces. Make sure I have six. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I forgot something. We need to label our three thirds. Okay. So we know that there's six pieces, so we're going to put six in the denominator for each one. This is the first sixth, the second sixth, the third sixth, the fourth sixth, the fifth sixth. Okay, so five sixths and then six sixths. Okay, it might help if I use the right tool. Let me erase that and write six sixths. Okay? So that's the thirds and sixths number line. So let me show you something really cool. If I shrink this one just a little bit, if I bring this number line back and shrink it to about the same length, I want to show you something really awesome. I want you to look very carefully at this right here. And my one half disappeared, so let me go back and put that back in. If you look carefully, you will see that if I put these two number lines on top of each other, that one half, two fourths, four eighths, and three sixths are all equivalent. And that's really important for you to be able to see. All right, that's it. There's a fraction number line. Hope you enjoyed it.